Basuki was confirmed as pregnant at 6 months. முதல் குழந்தை ஜிஹெச்ல பிறந்துச்சு வெயிட் வந்து 3.5 கிலோ இருந்தா 6 मंथ தாய்ப்பால் கொடுத்தேன் when her first baby was just 10 months old she thought that the missed period was due to breast feeding எனக்கு வந்து மூத்த குழந்தைக்கு தாய்ப்பால் கொடுக்க முடியல இரண்டாவது குழந்தைக்கு வந்து வெயிட் இது கம்மியா இருந்தா எனக்கு வந்து உடம்பல ரத்தம் இல்லைன்னு சொல்லிட்டாங்க it was a matter of concern to Vasuki as she was still a nursing mother. Scan had to be a scan. It was 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 a scan. ரெடியாரு <laughs> நீ <laughs> poor housing poverty and social disorganization jay shankari a health worker from sellur vattara kalhinjiam came to know this and she contacted wasuki in no time with close monitoring and follow up from kalhinjiam health team wasuki gave birth to a boy baby weighing 3.100 kilograms a sign of healthy delivery thanks to the community centered health intervention program of women strong madurai project supported by women strong international and implemented by dhan foundation vasuki is an example of millions of poor women in the slums of cities and major towns in india poor families in the cities often lack the knowledge means or motivation to afford women good health care at their adolescence and pregnancy improving the health status of the poor women and adolescent girls is one of the components of the women strong madurai project the sustainable health care advancement suham trust health care initiative of dhan foundation renders technical support to this project the comprehensive health program for pregnant women includes ensuring early registration of pregnancy supplying nutrient supplements treating anemia monitoring body mass index ensuring timely immunization and institutional delivery and caring both the infant and the feeding mother adolescent girls are organized into groups for facilitating health education and access health services தெரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டு 84.59% of them were found to be severe to moderately anemic. 
A uniquely designed behavior change communication strategy evolved from more than a decade of Dunn Foundation's experience in designing and implementing health programs is used to effect changes in the knowledge, attitude and practices of the women. Meeting of adolescent girls groups, cultural programs in slums, family and individual counseling and peer education are part of the strategy. Trained health workers teach these girls with a variety of communication materials like flip charts, posters, hoardings, handbooks and handbills with anemia concepts. The project team has built repo with schools, nutrition centers, primary health centers and government hospitals in the city. They facilitate procurement of iron folic acid tablets and vitamin A supplement for adolescent girls, pregnant women and under 5 children. An interim assessment taken after a year showed an encouraging outcome. There are marked changes in the levels of anemia. Lack of timely detection of major illness throws up serious threat to women living in poverty. Many a time they ignore initial symptoms and go for treatments in advanced stages of illness. The project Empower took up diagnosis as an early intervention. The women undergo diagnostic tests for anemia, diabetes, hypertension and body mass index and they are given education and refer to health centers. Growing incidence of cancer among women is a cause of concern today. Prevalence of breast and cervical cancer is 26.2% in India. The Women Strong Madurai project has started working on this problem and organizes screening camps. Screening for cancer includes education, self-examination aided by a health worker, sending suspected cases for clinical examination, CT scan and mammogram for confirmation. Women confirmed for breast cancer and cervical cancers are referred for treatment. Wherever possible, households that had space for construction of toilets are motivated to construct toilets with the assistance from their SHGs. With the assistance from Women Strong Madurai Project, the poor women and adolescent girls have started laying their path of empowerment themselves by way of securing their health and well-being.